what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Osama bin Laden planned to assassinate President Barack Obama to unsteady the United States by putting totally unprepared Joe Biden in charge. Declassified documents seized from bin Laden's Pakistan compound as he was killed in May 2011 reveal his plans to throw the United States into a crisis by killing Obama while he traveled in a plane with U.S. military commander David Petraeus. The 45-page document, which was first reported by the Washington Post in 2012, is now available along with hundreds of others from the raid. Osama wrote to Al-Qaeda deputy Atar al-Rahman, the reason for concentrating on them is that Obama is the head of infidelity and killing him automatically will make Vice President Biden take over the presidency. Biden is totally unprepared for that post, which will lead the U.S. into a crisis. As for Petraeus, he said that Petraeus is the man of the hour and killing him would alter the war's path in Afghanistan. What do y'all think about that, fam? They had plans to knock off Barack Obama. Now, I'm not surprised because America has enemies. Perhaps more domestically than abroad. But anyway, America has enemies. And you got to think that any president of the United States would probably be at the head of any terrorist list. And I do mean both domestically and internationally, because you have people right here in America that have made attempts on American president's life. In fact, all the presidents who've been killed in America so far has been killed by domestic terrorists. They've been killed by Americans. See, they teach us to make foreigners the boogeyman, you know, make those guys out in the Middle East and you know, who have the turbans and say Allah, we try to, they try to make us focus on them like they're the ones going to try to kill our president. Uh-uh. All you got to do is look at history. Just like with all these other terrorist acts that happens in America. Most of the terrorist acts that happens in America are perpetrated by Americans. So why is there not a huge fear from Americans about Americans. <laughs> the program is very, very effective. It is very effective. Now, this whole revelation makes me think about where we are today. Everybody wants Trump out of the office. They don't care how he leaves. They want him out. If something was to happen to Trump, then Mike Pence would be next in line. And there are a number of people who are saying that Mike Pence would be the absolute worst, saying that he's worse than Trump. Back to Biden. Biden is running for president of the United States of America. And he's running against a super dummy by the name of Donald Trump. This is one of those situations, fam, where do you really pick your poison? Or do you just say, fuck it, I'll die natural causes. Whatever you're going to take me out. Whatever's going to take me out, just let just take me out. I'm not riding with it. Now, some people might look at Osama bin Laden and say, man, that guy was smart. He was smart to say that, you know, because that's right, you know. You know, Obama was a smart guy, you know. He was evil, but he was smart. And uh, Biden is evil, but he's not smart. So that guy was smart.
really smart. I disagree. If he was really smart, somewhere within the pages of those documents, Trump's name would have been mentioned. No more talk. What the talking about.